So in the last section of uh, iron hemostasis, we talk about an important regulator with it, which is which was hepcidine. Now then another regulator, I want to talk about something called HFE protein. Okay, just imagine this is the transferrin, and on the transferrin you have this, which is basically the iron. And this is the cell. Let us talk um, talk about macrophages. So on macrophages, you have this receptor, which is transferrin receptors. Another kind of receptor, which is HFE gene receptors, with beta two microglobin or beta two microglobin on it. So when when the transferrin when the transferrin come to this receptor, okay, this is the transferrin with the iron on it. Uh, come on the iron. Become a transferring transferring receptors. This will this will go down. This will go down by a process called endocytosis. This is also following this process. So as as a result, you will have you will have here you will have iron and with the transferring on it. Okay. Uh, so the same basically the same structure down and transfer and transfer receptors. And on the transfer receptor, there is a protein, which, which, which you call it HFE, HFE protein, HFE protein. What does this protein do? This protein will, will partially inhibit the release of iron from endosome to the cytoplasm. I will not, I, I didn't say there is no iron. No, you have iron, but the iron is minimal release of iron from the endosome to the cytoplasm, into the cytoplasm, well, from cytoplasm to the cell, which is outside. So this is basically the function of HFE. A protein. Now, if you have a problem with the F uh, which FF HFE, sorry, if you have problem with HFE, that means you don't have HFE gene. Okay, so if you have HFE gene a mutation, so you will not have HFE gene or HFE protein. That's been defective. As a result of this, and this is the, in, in blue is the pathology. So you will have you will have a lot of iron. You will have a lot of iron released to the cytoplasm, and a lot of iron will come to the circulation. We call this we call this as let's take another color. Okay, we call this hereditary or hemochromatosis. So basically, what 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 the HFE gene do? HFE gene partially inhibit the release of iron from the endosome to the cytoplasm, and if you have you have knock out of HFE gene, that means you don't you will not have HFE protein. So you will have a lot of iron release to the cytoplasm and produce the circulation. So this is this basically occur in the macrophage. Can occur in other tissues like the basolateral membrane like the basolateral membrane of the cell so the same of the structure imagine the same of the structure here you will have here also hfe gene and then here iron release which is partial release to the circulation which partial release to the circulations um so this is basically our talk uh, this is basically of our, our talk hfe protein which is the main the second regulator after hepcidine um one more one more final talk so you have in the macrophage, iron will go out, will go inside the macrophages by transferring and transferring receptor, transfer and transfer receptor. And there is another way, which is more common actually of iron uptake, which is, which is basically through red blood cells. If you imagine, this is red blood cells. So the red blood cells go inside, by, inside the macrophages by a process of phagocytosis, phagocytosis, and also will lead to the release of iron inside the macrophage.